Hello and welcome to A Tough Night, a Thief 2 fan mission by Master of Drummond. Now I just played this on Expert and it was kind of annoying because we had to have no more than 16 knockouts uh, and there were too many guards that saw us too easily with them when we only had one path to go. And it's kind of getting tedious just waiting for them to all calm down. Um, there is an extra objective. Uh, or two. Talisman of Fire. Get the Talisman of Fire. Get the Ancient Mask. Um, on Expert. But uh, I'm not going to bother with those. Also, the one with the Ancient Mask, if you do actually knock out the actor whose house it is, you can't, or well, maybe there's a guard that walks in out, I don't know. You can't actually um, get in because there's a, there's a key missing, there's only the internal keys. All right, let's read our journal. Journal, after Constantine's death, a period of peace has arrived. The city, while still old in many areas, began to feel the air of progress. There were even plans to take over sections of the old quarter and get rid of the walking dead in there. The hammers and the new rising order of the mechanists helped a lot in this. Karis, an old hammer priest who is now the leader of the Order of the Mace, decreed that it is his duty and the Builder's purpose to clean the city of evil. Still, for now, all the efforts seem to fail, and even if the number of rising zombies has diminished, the source of the evil could not be eradicated. But the number of expeditions in the area has increased, and many people are starting to venture in there. Behind the Hammerites' patrols, some bystanders could walk in there and begun to rebuild some streets and buildings. The religious fanaticism drove out almost all pagans from the city. They seek shelter in the forests and in the wilds surrounding the walls of the city. The Hammerites, taking Constantine's end as an opportunity to erase all evil from the world, have begun to extend the city and explore more of the surrounding wild areas. This is a time of flourishing and wealth for the nobility and the upper classes, since the trade appetite increases and many business opportunities arise. The woodens also gain power. More wealthy nobles means a more profitable life for thieves. They began to control more and more of the city's businesses, and more money means a larger force of tough men. After the last commissioner was dismissed by the Baron, the police force was reorganised. The Baron felt like the Warden's rising power threatened his own, and planned to use the newly formed police force, the City Watch, against them. All police has been placed under the authority of a sheriff, and the oppression against the Wardens has started. But there was tough opposition from the Wardens, and some sort of civil war spurted in the city, with the Wardens eagerly defending their quarters. They cut off access of, of the police forces in some areas. Especially Warden Raputo, the most powerful of them, has taken control of an entire quarter and his forces now patrol the streets and bring their own order. With the support of the mages, Raputo repelled the Baron's forces and now is in full control of that area. As time passes by, the Hand Brotherhood has established a permanent base in the area and sent more and more forces in the city. With Raputo's help, they began to search for artifacts, magic books and powerful items related to the elements in order to increase their power. Archmage Arceus, who is now kind of leading the Hand Brotherhood, stopped their isolation policy and began to spread magic in the city. More and more mages were present in the city and their popularity among common people has increased. Some mages are even teaching spells and rituals to people on the streets. In order to gain the sympathy of common folks, the Brotherhood opened a casino and a tavern in Raputo's quarter. And even if this brought the attention of the Hammerites, who saw it as a sign of corruption spreading among ordinary people, the Mage's influence continues to rise. After the peace treaty with Blackbrook was broken, the Baron stopped the fight against the Wardens and concentrated all his efforts on the front. This left Raputo in a position of power in the city and with plenty of time to prepare his forces for future conflicts. His crime syndicate, with the support of Dorcas Goodfellow, a Blackbrook agent, is now controlling all underground businesses and takes a cut of every dirty job in the city. The interest of Blackbrook, Blackbrook leaders in an alliance with Raputo leaves the Baron in somewhat of a weaker position. Still, there are other forces at work in the city. The Keepers are messaging me about a noble cousin of Whitsimmon's family, who they call Mr. Whitsimmon. The Whitsimmons are related to the Baron and seem to represent his interests. In the Baron's ab absence, the Whitsimmons are, in fact, the rulers of the city now. It seems Mr. Whitsimmon has a very well-paid job fitted for my talents, and because my new extravagant lifestyle left me with almost no cash after the recent Lord Anders job, I have to carefully consider the opportunity. My landlord is coming in three days, and the rent for my big apartment is huge. 
So, i better meet this Whitsiman at his house tomorrow and see what he has to say. I have to be careful still. Lord Anders is a very influential person in town, and after breaking after the break-in at his residence in Northern Oldale, the police is looking for me on the streets. All right, Mr. Whitsiman. Let's see what you want me to do. Mr. Garrett, your friends, the keepers, recommended you as the best man for this job. Anyway, your reputation and your talents are well known by many. I represent the city council and the baron. The city is in a time of great peril. The war is not going well, and other forces from within the city are against us. Spies and traitors are on every street corner. Chief Warden Raputa's actions are a pain for us in the last months. This traitor must be called to order at all costs. He knows a lot about the enemy's plans on the front, and capturing him is a must if we ever hope to change the course of this war. The information he possesses are invaluable for the city council. So here's the job. Infiltrate Raputo's quarter by your methods, find him, and kidnap him. You need to bring him here alive so we can interrogate him. I'm very sure no one can succeed in this task except yourself. You will be well rewarded for this job. 70,000 gold in cash, paid after we see him here. And maybe a future collaboration between us if all goes well. More jobs are waiting for you in the future. You are a valuable man and your talents may not be wasted on fugacious actions. Be careful. I have information that the City Watch is looking for you on the streets, and we can't help you with that. Even the night patrols have your description. The council may not be implicated by all means if you are caught. Our reputation must be preserved. We don't want people to know that we're supporting thievery, so our collaboration must remain a secret. Now, on the job. We have intel about Reputo's mansion. A servant named Cedric. Meet him in the market near the casino. He knows who you are, and will provide you the mansion key and other information you may need. In the name of the City Council, I wish you all the luck you need, Mr. Whitsimmon. Good, good. Sounds like a plan. Are you trying to... What me, closing the door to your torture chamber? What do you expect? You don't have any loot for me, do you? Hiding behind this banner, maybe? No. I uh, don't mind the property damage, you know. It's, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's fine. Let's see what your guards keep in here. Five pieces of copper. Not even worth my time picking the lock, to be honest. Servant sleeping. Doesn't seem to have a purse, that's alright. Hello, here's a servant wandering around. Don't mind me, I just stole... Well, you have a purse, that's nice. I just stole five pieces of copper from your... Uh, maybe your chest? You won't miss it, surely. Uh... Maybe it's a bit rude that like Mr. Whitsman has just hired us. Maybe it's a bit rude for me to be burgling his house before even beginning the job he's hired me to do. But uh, the last big job that I had, or the guard had, was uh, Constantine's Mansion. Hello, I'll take that. And um, as you may recall, it didn't go so smoothly. And. Garrett didn't get paid a cent for it, and so he got a whole lot of hell for it. So... Oh. Don't mind me. It's not me. What you do? Catch colds? Do you know anything about the exhibitions? I've heard stories that the masks they're gonna bring are are magical uh, and haunted. 
I don't know, and I don't care. We go through this all the time. You ask these stupid questions, and then something goes wrong. Lord Bafford, Lord Donald, Sheriff Truitt, we worked for all of them and always got fired because someone broke in, something got stolen, or someone got killed. I'm always too distracted answering your stupid questions. When this job is over, you're on your own. I'm done with you. Hey, no need to get all heated about it. Taffer. <coughs> well, that's a stop mission, stop conversation from masks. With um, or was it casing the joint? I think it's masks. Yeah, masks is when it's raining. Casing it's clear. Or the other way around. But uh, f finishing off the conversation between Benny and. The uh, gruff voiced guard who. Why do you lock everything up? The gruff voiced guard. I should probably call Master Thief 3 guard because Master Thief 3 does an excellent impression of him. Nothing. You hang banners on the walls, people. You should hide things behind it. At least occasionally. Where was I hearing those footsteps from? Uh, anyway, I think we're I think we're safe from the house guards here. Or at least if they don't see us doing anything suspicious, like picking locks. So let's stay in the darkness while we pick locks, shall we? Well, spend a year picking this lock. Ah, that's alright, I've got all night. And uh, you've got a locks, heavily locked door and a locked chest just to make sure. Well, thankfully that didn't take long to pick. Just to make sure we don't steal. Alright. 267. It's a start. Have we seen all of this place yet? That's, is this the torture chamber? No. Oh, this was the torture chamber here, right? Yeah. So, did it come this way? No, this looks new. Apparently that. What's out this way? Another rough bed. Bit of filled in wall. It's not fake, is it? No. Nope. Not a secret door. Uh, a rather empty looking storage room. Okay, let's check out these rooms. What's there? Just me. Sometimes I remember the old days when this town lay under siege. It was about 20 years ago when I was nearly a kid. It was a nice and peaceful night when the sound of the horn echoed powerfully in our ears. To walls! We are under attack! cried the captain. Believe me or not, an entire Blackbrook army was lying under the siege walls. The siege lasted for 30 days until the Baron's reinforcements arrived and freed us. Ah, uh, bring me back those days of glory again. Wait, you want... Those days of glory? You want the war, Mr. Whitsaman? I thought you were hiring me to avert the war. Stone door. That looks like wood. Cunning. Cunning disguise. Painting a door. Made of stone to look like wood to confuse the would be thieves that have been there. Such as myself. Have I been here? Uh, yes, I have. Does this open? It's another stone door. Made of wood. I know it doesn't open actually, because I when I tried this on an expert, I feel like I hacked off the board and nothing happened. 
So I don't need to waste time hacking it again. Alright, I could go this way. But... I'm gonna go out the other door instead. I shot that in his face for, for laughs. Alright. So it turns out... That uh, guard patrols... In this town... Are kind of inconvenient. It seems pretty clearly contrived for you to take the canal to get to where you want to go. But swimming the canal is noisy, you can't see the streets, can't tell what I'm doing. Did I check the map? Uh, I mean, I did in when playing X, but I'll check it again now. So we'll have to head west, past the upper house, because our first objective is to go home and resupply. Uh, and then we come here through the yard and a house is just past this uh, where this canal forks past this tower guard. So these guys are all very annoying. And what the? Ow! More annoying than I expected. What? What the hell? You're on a hair trigger. I guess it was too bright. And the sound of the knockout was That's not a good start. I mean, it's kind of typical for me, I suppose. To mess up. Don't kill anyone. Uh, I didn't notice that. I guess I can't drop him in the canal then. Just, just drop him in the dark corner. That's alright. If only they had instructions not to kill anyone, I'd be a lot safer. Anyway, uh, lots of bright lights with guards walking past them. You can swim past them, but... I wonder what's up there, if I can go up there. Perhaps nothing. Looks like a door. Oh, hello. I don't want these guys to uh, see me. God, you guys are too, too alert today. I'm gonna have to do my, uh, lead you into a dark corner and introduce the back of your neck to my, uh, blackjack trick. Like that. Which means you're conveniently at the dark corner already. Alright, let's get the archer. Clean up these streets. City Watch is definitely out looking for us. I, I don't know how he saw me. Like, I was here in pitch darkness crouched. He sh I should not, he should not have been able to see me. That's Maybe he saw me earlier when I was here and was slightly alerted. I don't know. I guess if he was already at alert one and hadn't settled back down fully, that would, that would make sense. Anyway, so far, so... Uh, well, not very stealthy, but uh, a lot less tedious than when I was trying to creep past them or swim past them what, uh, in my first attempt and failing miserably. Let's try this again. Yeah, I don't think I can jump up there. Maybe there's another way up. Mm, doesn't look like it. Stacking boxes, maybe. Alright, we need to go... Well, we need to go west to our house, so let's go west. Well, there's a door I'm not going to be able to... Unlock. Hello. Is that somebody coming? It is indeed. Oh, they're going to open the door for us. We just need to leave it open and see if he thinks to close it or not. Oh. Look at the foolish fellow. Is that a guard coming? No. 
All right, you have a key. What else do you have? You have gold cup and and not very valuable painting. All right, I'll take it. All right, so this part was a problem for me as well with all the civilians and the active guards. And that's kind of where the mission all went wrong when I was trying to get an expert. Uh, I would have kept playing on expert, except that with uh, with a uh, limited number of knockouts, um, it kind of became problematic. How am I supposed to get past? Jax, can I bother you a moment? I don't mean to pry, but I heard you were thinking of joining the sheriff's guard. Well, true, it's recruiting for the city watch, and. With those new security machines everywhere, I don't know how long the guardian business is going to last. But have you seen those mechanical men the sheriff has now? I would never want to work around one of those. Mechanical men? What do you mean? Well, imagine a walking, talking security machine. It's hard to explain. They seem like people, but they're made all of metal. They have arms and faces, and they can see you. But you can tell just by looking at them, their only purpose is to kill. I suppose there's another bit of progress from those mechanists. Yes, I think so. I just wanted to mention it before you did decide to quit your job here. I hate to see you go. Thanks, Mel. Guess it better not be too hasty. Oh, that's all right. Good night, Jax. Oh, so he's going to wait. Now there is a bunch of civilians up there who are probably gonna see me. I wanna try not to spook them. But uh, if I jump in the, there is a bit of canal there. If I jump in there, then uh, I can't get through there. Out of the light, out of the light. Um, Oh, it's too bright. Where, what am I being lit by? I don't know. Can't see any lights off close by. Maybe there's windows. If I jump in that canal and try to get out, the only place I can get out is in really bright light, which is always a bad idea because guards can see you quite a long way when you're in maximum light. As long as you're still in like yellow, it's not too not bad. Again. If you're in red. And or moving. It's uh, risky. Anyway, so I can at least I can clear the streets now because I'm back on hard difficulty. Come on, come on, go down. Carrot. Thank you. Oh, they saw me. Hey! I better not hit him too much, I might kill him. Bollocks! See, they saw me, and I don't know how I could have got past that. Uh, it's a small person or a child. Where did the other one go? Wait, did they, could I not knock them out either? Did they go running off? Are they going to be all... Do I in here? No. Well, if there's civilians that I can't knock out... That's also going to be inconvenient. What? Uh, ran all the way here and then fell unconscious. Okay, delayed knockout. Uh, I guess they were given an alert reaction of very high priority there, which over or uh, what is it? Immediate priority? I forget the levels. There's the maximum priority level, which is actually capable of overriding a knockout uh, blow. It'll override a falling uh, unconscious. 
so um, maybe this other guy's done the same. I hit him on the head three times. All right? What does this say? Opera House new season announced. The Nobility Ballet, an opera house program for the coming season, includes five new productions, classic revivals, and operas that span the entire breadth of the repertory, opening with Mr. Orwell's Forest Haunts, conducted by music director Mr. Cribbs. Mr. Cribbs was in uh, the Opera House Mission in Thief Gold. No, I don't think I have that one. Is that wood? Nope. Luckily nobody heard me. That's not gonna happen. Oh wait, I have a key, right? Does this key work here? I should check. It does. Hello? I bet you're not my friend. So let's make sure you're uh, not gonna get in my way. Oh, you don't have anything. Oh well. Let's hope you weren't my friend. Let's hope I didn't need to keep you conscious. I can't hear the actor yelling and I don't know... He doesn't seem to be coming back, so very likely he had the same... Wait, who? you to see my bones, they're very private to me. Oh, well, maybe the actor did to uh, get far enough to wait to alert this guard. Um, Alright, well there's nothing in there. Let me just steal that I can see. Let's just scout out ahead. Yes, look, there he is. I sleep on the street. It's not dark enough there, let's take him into this room. Uh, did he have a purse? Wait, 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 that actress had a purse, right? Did I get it? I had 290 something, I think. 390? Let's just go check, let's just go check. The bunny hop. Trying to raise you on professional. Uh, not you. Who's the other one? I think I got it, but I'm not not quite 100 percent sure. I did. Alright, sorry for that uh, slight waste of time there. Let's go back and keep pressing on towards our home. Uh, gonna keep clearing the streets because it seems by far the, uh, the most promising strategy here is just to knock people out. Oh, there's somebody around coughing. Up there, there's a room with uh, bookshelves, it looks like. How do you get in there, though? There isn't an upstairs here, is there? Did I miss a ladder or. Doesn't look like it. Huh, okay. Never mind. Right, back here again. Did I try this one? I cannot get in. Let's try my magic key. Nope, the key's no good either. How about this door? Nope, key. Nope, alright. Oh shit. Come out here now! 
No. I'm not kidding. You should be. I'm kidding. Uh, let's just leave him to calm down. He can't get me here. I can't believe I lost him. Wait, is he still searching? Come back here and fight. Yeah. Leave him to calm down. If we come back this way, we can uh, knock him out. Uh, Alright, here's the... That was the tower guard. Let's... Just a little bit west. Tower house. Hello. Oh. Is that frog bullet? It does just light up, I guess. For all tenants, I must remind you that the keys to the gates are placed in the usual locations. Anyone who enters or leaves the building must place the keys back to their location so that anyone who needs a key will be able to find them there. The landlord. Oh, can I pick the lock on this gate? No. Uh, well, let's try the key I have. No. Where would the key be then? Hmm. Hello. Aha. I wonder though, does this key work for these other doors? It wouldn't make sense, but uh, has he calmed down enough? I'm gonna go and knock him out yet. Yes. Good, because otherwise you'll see me going back. Now, as I say, it wouldn't make sense for this key to work on those other doors, a red key here, but um, the yellow key unlocks two completely different doors, so maybe this one does as well? Nope. Nope. Alright. Worth checking because it wasn't very far away. Alright, so. Let's just make a hard save. This is as far as I got the next part. I didn't get through this gate. Someone making noise. Nope. I mean, you're the guard for my house, right? Isn't this my house? Don't I live here? There's one marked on the on the map. This looks a little too fancy for uh, X. My house, right? House balcony. But it says garage quarter home. Maybe. Maybe he got spends all his money on uh, fancy carpets and furnishings and guards and servants. Let's see if you're friendly to me. Are you friendly? You are. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps I was. Uh, premature in knocking out the gate guard, but never mind. Never mind. Oh, you probably won't be friendly if I start picking locks, right? But, uh... Go in and the northern door. Well, maybe it should be my own door, right? wonder if the key works. Nope. Don't come and see me. I'll be happy if you don't see me. Is this my room? Uh, two beds. Why would I need two beds? That doesn't seem like my room. Maybe one of them is for weekdays and one is for weekends. Uh, more likely this is somebody else's room and I've just stolen their money and chopped down their banners. That noise? That you? You're still not upset with me, right? Good. So where is my house then? Excuse me, I'm kind of in a hurry here. Thank you. Ah, uh, this isn't my room. Ah, oh, maybe mine's upstairs. Let's see. Uh, it was marked north. Noisy floors. My home is full of noisy floor. <coughs> ah, who made that noise? Wait, there's other people's apartments here too, I think. The new Matkinson's Guide to the City. 
Introduction, the city, contents, city districts and quarters. Dayport, Old Quarter, The Docks, Downtown, Eastport, Hightown, South Quarter, Wayside, Old Ale and Markham's Isle. The city. The city itself is an autonomous city-state. It is not subordinate to any jurisdiction but its own. It is ruled by the Baron, who is in charge of trade, taxes, laws and the army. Below the Baron are representatives who are in charge of different departments, including the Sheriff, who is in charge of the City Watch. The Baron is supreme commander of the city's army and leads it to war. Dayport is one of the city's residential districts. Given its name, Dayport was probably a more industrialised area at one time. At present, the district inhabitants consist primarily of members of all levels of city social classes, with a high concentration of mid to upper class guildsmen and nobles, a stark contract, contrast to the docks across town. With a concentration of tall buildings and narrow streets, Dayport has a more metropolitan and Victorian feel to it. It is also home to one of the mechanist's primary buildings, Angel Watch. Dayport itself consists of two areas, Dayport North District and Dayport South District. Angel Watch is located in North Dayport, near the end of Grand Warden Road. Some of the residences located in Northern Dayport include Lady Louisa's Suite, Castle Carlisle and Sir Cullen's Keep. The Dayport Traders Bank is also located in this area. South Dayport is primarily residential with such homes as Castle Van Vernon, Master Willie's Manor, the Necromancer Spire, the Sheminoff Estate, the Fieldstone Estate and the Astronomer's Workshop. This is also the location of the beautiful Dayport Bell Tower. The main street in this area is the Baron's Way which cuts through the south end of Northern Dayport. Grand Morden Road runs perpendicular to the Baron's Way, running through both northern and southern Dayport. The Old Quarter is one of the oldest parts of the city. It was once the thriving centre of the city and the place which is rumoured to be the first area settled by its people. Common knowledge says that the rest of the city just grew up around it. Buildings are backed close together and the streets are narrow and cluttered. This district was once home to the city's main Hammerite Cathedral and it's still considered a Hammerite stronghold. Most of the district is believed to have been built by the Order. The most notable event related to the Old Quarter in recent history is the so-called Cataclysm, a horrifying invasion by an undead horde that poured out of the Quarter and threatened to destroy the whole city. Fortunately, the incident was contained, but at the expense of many lives. Now a part of Old Quarter is kept sealed off behind stone walls, keeping whatever still walks there at bay. The Docks is also one of the oldest city districts. This area consists of a number of small warehouses and a lot of seedy inhabitants. This is a poorer section of the town. The houses in the docks resembled light medieval plaster, wood and stone cottages and houses. Downtown is located to the south on the east side of the river. This is to the east of New Market and to the south of Old Quarter. It is a mixture of an industrial and residential areas. In this district is located the dark fortress of Noble Ramirez, one of the most notable people in town. Eastport is a Dockland district. Once there was a Hammerite church in the quarter but it has been turned into one of the mechanist facilities also known as the Mechanist Seminary. There's nothing here to visit except this. You can only find poverty and street robbers. High Town is situated next to Old Quarter and Newmarket. This is a district quite wealthy and it mainly consists of rich households. It is one of the elite quarters of the city where the higher nobility live. South Quarter is one of the city's most crowded residential districts in the centre of the town near the river. This district is set between Newmarket and the docks. It is a densely populated district with mixed citizens. It is considered neither a rich nor a poor area, but the presence of Shoalsgate Station and Pavelock Prison mark it as a neighbourhood with high city watch activity. Wayside is a craftsman quarter. The Wayside docks are part of it. The bit marketplace in the centre of, the, of Wayside and the proximity to the Wayside docks make this quarter very attractive to grocery stores, blacksmiths and other craftsmen, who can be delivered very fast with all kinds of goods incoming from the harbour. Old Ale is one of the richest quarters of the city. In this area, you can find one of the most notable buildings of the city. Palaces, castles, museums, beautiful manors. It also has a beautiful park for entertaining the nobility. When you come to our city, this is definitely a place to visit. The eyes are pleased with the astonishing view. Markham's Isle. Formerly a starlight cove, Markham's Isle is a small island used by pirates and smugglers as a secret hideout and base of operations. The island was named after the legendary pirate Captain William Dark Markham. They left the island for some unknown reason, and the station fell into ruin. Well, now we know all about the city. Except why I'm here. Although I'm here, right here, in order to steal anything found. Oh, hello, there's another book. Jump and read it in midair. The city's beginnings! 
Agriculture was not sufficient to absorb all of the surplus population, and many of them turned to trade and manufacture. Most village communities included part-time artisans, who gained additional income by working during the winter to supply the villagers' need for particular goods and services. When long-distance trade began to flow, there already existed a significant body of manufacturers and craftsmen in the city's neighbourhood. This people began the so-called urban life. The city's core had been, for the most part, artificial creation by the hammers in the name of the builder, established by the government, later named the city council, to centralise legal, religious and economic activities. After that, population began to move to the city core, which was like a fortress with walls surrounding the cathedrals or monasteries, with a nearby village often enclosed by part of its old walls. More village artisans moved here, increasing the population and its importance. The long-distance traders often found this location convenient for breaking their journey, selling some of their goods, dividing cargo, or even trading with merchants arriving from distant parts. They often established residences and warehouses, called factories, adjacent to the main administrative centre, and took the lead in restoring and extending the old walls to complete the defences of an essentially new manufacturing and commercial centre. Uh, yeah, don't mind me, I just broke into your house to read the guidebooks. Or maybe this isn't your house, maybe this is just a common area of this apartment. It's hard to say. It's very library-ish. Maybe it is meant as a library, which would explain uh, all the books. Don't mind me. Oh, it's not even a banner. Don't mind me, I'm just waving my sword in the air, you know. Where am I now? I uh, was supposed to go into my home and forgot. Is this where I just was? Yes. I said home sweet home. When I stepped in here, and su that suggests to me that this might be my house place, but then what is this woman doing? Wandering in here without my uh, approval. Oh, again, maybe it's just another common area. Okay. Well, that's a east-facing balcony. Uh, oh, as indicated on the map. Did it come in that way? But maybe that's north of the area I came in by. No, oh, it's something is up with that door. That's not. Where I had to better. Okay, is this my stash? This looks like my equipment, perhaps. Anything else on these upper shelves? I mean, certainly useful equipment. I'll take it, even if it's not mine. That's why they call me a thief, after all. It very much looks like mine. Uh, go to your home and resupply. Okay. Maybe this is just my palatial mansion. And this is my bedroom. And I just have these other people just my servants or random people who wanted it off the street. I don't know. You know? It's very hard to say when. Guess I could use some target practice. Good point. Make sure I'm right. I've still got the, my eye in. That right in the bullseye. Oh, another sealed off door. That one is made of wood. Let's try unsealing it. Try not to alert anybody wandering around. Hello! You don't mind me waving a sword around, do you? Surely not. Oh, what have we got in here? Speaking of waving a sword around. I think they're out of earshot. Let's keep going. 
maybe it doesn't break. It doesn't break. Alright, well that's a bit dead end then. Now to find our way back out. Alright, here. There's a stairway. There's that lady. Let's break into our neighbours. Make sure that lady doesn't come on come and surprise us again. Ah, it's that uh, famous painting. Also not a door. Wait, you lock your door but you don't have any loot to protect? What kind of nonsense is that? Wait, this is a door. Oh. It's just this door again. Uh -huh. Odd. I hope you're not going to be spooked. There's a strange man over here. Come, quick. Are you spooked by the noises or are you spooked by me? Just spooked by the noises. Alright, that's fine. Did I check that door? That's balcony, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I think I'm done with this place then. Back downstairs. Or oh, I'm doubling the upper floor. Yeah, you go check out what was happening up there. It's, uh, something was amiss. I think somebody was breaking down doors. Very uncouth. Alright, being like, alright. I think there's something weird going on. Ah, uh, you're probably right. Wait, there's two of you that are identical. That's that's something very weird going on. I just rick him in. That is rick him in. All right, that's the balcony. Yeah, okay. So where then does this take me? Another bedroom. Also without loot, apparently. Nice backyard. Very pleasant, but also very pointless. I went in there. Okay, what's, what's here? Another deadly banner of doom and of Slashing. A beautiful blue vase. A beautiful blue door, which I can't unlock. Let's try my keys. Yeah, that one works. See? This red key opens surprising doors. Although, I guess it's the outer... Yeah, it's, doesn't it make sense? It's the outer door to this place. Alright. So that's an eastern... Exit on the southern side, right? It takes me out here. Okay, we have done our first objective. Meet Cedric in the market and acquire the mansion key. Where is the market? So we're here. This is the eastern door. Locked gate to market. So yeah, this is actually the way to go. Excellent. I need to be wary of guards again, because uh, the city watch are never happy to see me. I'm never happy to see these metal floors. It uh, seems a little darker here, that's good.
Oh, there's guards in here. Wandering the walls. I guess that's what they're supposed to do, but uh, I would appreciate it if they do it more quietly and on their backs and unmoving and unseeing and unhearing. Much more convenient for me that way. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought he was about to wake up and chase me, but no, he was about to wake up, turn around, and then fall back to sleep. Same problem as the uh, actors, I think. Of uh... Ooh, gas hammer. Very nice. Thank you. Why do you keep an Iron Maiden in your bedroom? I mean, maybe you sometimes get bored of comfortable sheets and mattresses and... Or at least relatively comfortable. And want something a little more... Exotic? Fair enough, if you do. Just another level. Do you have any money? You know, it's all very well being a guard, but... Uh, I guess they're not very highly paid. I can't complain too much because I don't have any money for me to steal. That's... I should bring it up to the city council and get them to pay them more. Wait, who's... Ah, he's he, down there, saw me. Where does this take me? Uh, precisely nowhere. I jump on these trees. Nope. Well, let's be careful here. Not to spook the guard too much. at all. Just one unconscious body in the doorway. Alright. Uh, wait, this, this is a no gate facing north? Where did we come? Oh, did we come down this way? That's, does that lead to the thieves' lair then? That's, uh, yeah, that's not where I need to be. I'm going the wrong way entirely. We need to... So there's a T-junction, we need to go west and south to the market. I just followed... I don't know what I followed. But no. Here's the house, here's our house again. Um, come out here. This shows us going across the river. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We need to get up on top and then across. Hmm. How do we do that? How do we get up there? Is there any wood? Any rope arrow? Rope arrowable surfaces? That looks like metal on top of the building. Yeah. Or is there a... Perhaps a passage in the water that heads south. No. How strange. Although, there is a ledge up there, but that doesn't appear to have any connecting passage south either. Maybe we have to go... Oh, there's a room there. Maybe we have to go inside the pipes? Um, I mean, it could be inside the pipes. Maybe if we can head out here, there's a... Let's go back through the house to the northern side. We didn't actually finish exploring there, so maybe there's a way into... the building or something. Let's go out the front door. And check out this area. Mm. 
cops. I hear a conversation happening. They seem concerned only with aiding nobles with their fancy inventions. Their tin soldiers wouldn't last long against a real army. Well, until I see a battle going on outside my window, I shan't worry about it. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, maybe that was one of our house guards and I didn't need to knock him out. Maybe he would have been friendly. Alright, there. Wandering off. He's not, but he doesn't look like City Watch either. Is he going to be unfriendly? Oh, well, he's a civilian. Best to be on the safe side, huh? People like you shouldn't be out wandering the streets at this time of night. It's uh, quite unhealthy. There's rogues everywhere with blackjacks and swords and stealing purses and cutting down banners and all sorts of all sorts of no good alright so can I go south from here so let's check the map again uh don't know where that took us oh it's through here Huh, that's just the same note, right? Yeah. <gasps> Does this canal lead anywhere in this direction? Nope. And there's a gate, so uh, probably not possible. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Am I turned about? This canal seems to be running north, south, and and then heads east with the tree. But that looks like this east, west. I don't know. Where's the bit with the market anyway? Market quarter. Home is up there. So we need to we need to head south somehow. Let's just try following the street. Maybe it'll get us there. I mean, this is the opposite of south, right? This is north. Archer coming this way. Nope, civilian. That's right. Much safer for me. Why don't you sleep in this lovely little corner with this tree? It's very, very safe. Um, however, this is heading east and north, which is not where I need to go. Then it turns around to the west. It's this gate, it doesn't appear to be over there. Hmm. I'm confused because surely heading east and north should take us back to where we first entered our house from, but uh, maybe I'm just turned about. I mean, clearly it doesn't connect there, so. City Watch. Watch this. Wish that's a bad idea. Somebody 
like this wandering hammerite might uh, notice you there. Make sure he doesn't notice anything all night. Alright. I think that was the other one that was having a conversation, so they should be safe. It's pretty dark anyway, they'll probably just walk past. Dang. I didn't even see you. I'm gonna have trouble doing my trick here because it's getting behind you is gonna be hard. Oh, not too hard. Alright. This is a fancy place. Very fancy place. God, there's another one of you. Did you see me? Did you not see me? If you didn't see me, how did you not see me? You mean <gasps> Alright. Let's open the gate. Alright, uh well that's cell, so I guess this is the gate that uh leads towards the market. I hope so anyway. Let's hope I uh, identify Cedric in the market square before I knock him out. It will... Oh. What? No, that's... Going around in circles. What's that gate? Um... That was here? Or was that here? Oh wait, the house back door doesn't come this way, it comes... That's, that must be this gate. So heading this way... So the lock gate to market is this way, if I'm... If I'm not mistaken. Then I got completely turned about and misread the map, and that... Definitely explains my misreading of the map, so... Locked gate there, head east, and the lock gate to the market is south of there. Now this is running north-south. What? There's locked gates everywhere and I can't read this market map at all. But I've definitely got to come around in circles. Well, we'll keep going east, let's just see where this takes us, because... Eventually, we'll either find the market. Or, uh, someplace new with hopefully some more loot, you know? Either one kind of works. There's an upset, okay. Just a little bit dark. I think that opens the same gate. And the reason it seems to do nothing initially. How does this one open? Is that opening or is that closing? Let's assume that's opening, right? Because I've switched it three times, let's assume it was opening the first time. Oh, this is a hammerite area, alright. You... I won't call you sir. I don't have that much respect for the hammerites. You red guy. Look, Barber Pole Man, that's that's your colours right there. Barber Pole Man, sleep here. Sleep in the barrel. Or on the barrel. Hammerites! To Hammerite area. Hammerite area. We're definitely too far east. Uh, right, let's go ahead, let's go back west then. Oh, that does open, let's close that, okay. Let's just fix that minor inconvenience. <laughs> it's 
So is this one open and I just, initially and I just closed it? Okay. So this is a north-south gate. Is that here? Or, hang. Or is it here? But no, this road doesn't continue south, right? Does it? There's the wall and a curving path going this way. Definitely doesn't match that. Oh, maybe this is this one. Kind of big hexagonal building there. It doesn't really seem to match that either. I, I have no idea where I am, how this relates to the map. This takes me back to Garage Place, right? This is Garage Place. This is a door that heads east. If we head around to the north, we come out on the balcony. Uh, well, with the balcony. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Here's the main gate, right? Here is the main gate. This is north. The balcony is to the west. This lies. The compass is wrong. This is north. Oops. Let's just do this way south. North. Uh, east. West. Right. Which means the back door does look east. And we can follow the map. Let's go back to the back door. Uh, Alright. Uh, out this way. Back door looks east. So we follow the road east, turns around south, and then heads back north to this north-south passage with the locked gate, which is exactly where we were. All right. So how do you get a map that is 90 degrees out of direction with the compass? The answer is it is actually quite trivial. The, uh, I th think there's something in these 2 that is set that way by default, but there's a, there's a, a variable you can set for the mission that gives you the, uh, lets you adjust the compass direction relative to the map direction so they match up. The if one it wasn't possible. Um, okay, so we went through this north-south, so now we need to go east to get to the market. This way. And it says we're gonna hit another locked gate. Okay. Which was this one right here. Okay. Now the market map, map. Let's assume this one is also wrong, and that east is this way, which means that this is out all day west, and that's all day all east. Right. If north is is to the right. So that's the same locked gate. Then we need to head south and east, mostly east and a little bit south. I'm wandering around. Okay. And this kind of matches up. Alright. So this is where we met the Hammer Man. So that's fine. So this was the right way to go. I just didn't realise it because my directions are all quite confusing. Okay, if we head west at a T-junction. Right, yeah, we don't want to go that way. That'll take us to the wrong area. I mean, it'll take us to useful areas, but we want to... Keep heading east. Doesn't seem to be anything up there. Oh, that is wood, right? Let's just take a quick peek. Oh, there's somebody coming. Let's... Ah! 
Let's stay out of the way. I'm a priest. Let's stay well out of the way. Let's steal their key and uh, introduce them to our friend the blackjack. So eastwards towards the market. What does it say? Old Farmer's Market, that seems to be the right direction to go then. Let's do another hard save. I'm afraid of, basically I'm afraid of knocking out Mr. Cedric. Over the past year, since we fell under Hammerite's administration, we're working to implement a number of changes to improve the city's Old Town Farmer's Market, including changes to the old rules and reg regulations. The Old Farmer's Market Committee, made up of seven members, including city staff and three vendor representatives, began working to revise the rules and regulations in winter, spending eight months carefully reviewing, discussing and revising the market regulations to make them more comprehensive and consistent with the vision and mission of the City Council. These rule changes also cover important health and safety regulations that are required for vendor participation at the Old Town's Farmer's Market. These rules are only applicable to the Farmer's Market vendors and should have no impact on market customers. Mm, jeez. Let's see what you're hiding in a scrape. I think I had a guard out there too, maybe. No, oh, hammerite. Of course, they sort of came under their jurisdiction. Now, I would have knocked him out, but I heard this uh, civilian wandering past. Uh, coming out the door again. And I didn't want to be caught in the act. Maybe I was wrong. Well, I get to pretend to be sneaky at any rate. What do they say? Compendium of Commercial and Farming Practices. After the Baron's grandfather's election by the council, conditions in the city were favourable to a revival of commerce. The slow spread of advanced farming techniques was a fundamental factor in this development. The heavy plough made it possible to open up the fertile but heavy bottom lands of the city's surroundings and to plough lands with a single path rather than the crisscross pattern the lands demanded of the scratch plough. The heavy plough made possible by the hammers required greater traction power and the development of metal horseshoes built in their forges. Padded horse collars and tandem harnessing made it possible to use horses as draft animals. Horses were not only faster, but were more intelligent than oxen, and so did not need the attention of a man wielding a goad to direct them. The peasants discovered the value of leguminous crops, peas and beans, in restoring soil fertility and, although they did not realise it, improved the human and animal diet with the addition of the relatively high grade of protein provided by peas and beans. The deep plough and the use of legumes made it possible to change the two-field system, in which one half of the arable land was put in fallow each season, to a three-field system, in which only a third of the land needed to be fallow in order to restore its fertility and to kill off the growth of weeds. The rise of commerce in the town. The year of the cataclysm was a turning point in the history of the city. Within a decade of that date, the wall was built and the city's economic fortunes began to change just as quickly. The rulers of Blackbrook destroyed the pagan forces near the East Forest, and by doing so, they protected the Varangian route from attacks and intrusions. After that, merchants from our city resumed once again to carry goods by the river to Blackbrook and its surroundings. In turn, Blackbrook merchants in appreciable numbers began to appear in our city. Two other events, less appreciated than those we have mentioned, also altered the economic situation. Shortly after the cataclysm, the old cattle routes between the river's forest and the sea were reopened, and the traders were now driving cattle and horses west to trade for manufactured goods. This trade would prove to be an important factor in our city's growth. Finally, with the use of the Hammerites' new engineering techniques, a bridge was constructed that opened the Shale Bridge Pass for relatively easy transport and facilitated communications between the city and the northern shores. Uh, 
is a lot of history in this mission, actually, like written history. It's kind of surprising. It is the builder's peace of mind that you shall soon have. Oh shit. What's the man coming? It's another hammerite. That was nearly, uh... Where did they go? Let's be cautious. Now I think the guy we saw standing in the room just across the way was the person we have to meet. But let's finish robbing the place first, right? Just be careful not to knock him out. Oh, I see he walks back and forth up, up the very top there. Wait, are you the person we have to meet? Are you gonna run and fall down? Why is everyone going in here where I knocked someone out? Yes, he runs runs the nearest guard and collapses at his feet. That's unintentionally hilarious. No, someone is not there. Alright, I it is actually wood. So you know we can get up there and deal with this fellow quite easily. Well I say quite easily but we need some darkness and uh, some not so noisy patches of floor. He's coming back this way, I think. Don't, don't come all the way over here. It's not a good idea. Show thyself. I will show thee a good time with my blackjack. Just more whistling. I hope I didn't knock out the guy I was supposed to meet, but you know, hopefully it would have failed the mission if I had. But since the guy I knocked out was running at the side of me, I don't think it was our friend. So, so the room? Yeah, that's the room we saw before, I think, with our friend. Let's just finish exploring this upper area and destroying all the banners. But no point, except that they're banners. Oh, I can turn the lights off in here, how nice. Clank, clank, clank. Alright, and we guess that's supposed to be the way up here as well, but let's go down that way. Let's go down that way. More carefully. Are you out of contact? Hello? Uh, no, you seem to be bothered by my presence as well. Let's let's follow you and see if you do the same beautiful trick. You will. He's running right to our friend the guard. And <laughs> we'll just add himself to the pile. <laughs> uh, that is amazing. Oh uh, dear. The importance of, uh, oh I guess Cedric must be in the bakers. The importance of getting uh, your priorities in AI behaviour is correct. 
Who would have expected that you could uh, accidentally make a guy run away more urgently than falling unconscious? Well, I don't know, maybe Cedric's not in the Bakers, because this is the Bakers. I've been here already. This is the way I came in, right? Yeah. Uh, well, if I'm knocked out my contact, that's a problem. If, on the other hand, he's merely somewhere in this place I have not been to yet, that well, should be less of a problem. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where was I supposed to meet him? What's the note say? Am I supposed to meet him at the casino, not the market? Maybe I'm misremembering. Meet, meet him in the market near the casino. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the market. Maybe it's bigger then. Maybe there's more to the market than just the old farmer's market that we're at. We shall investigate the possibility in just a minute. After looting this chest. Alright, so this is east, which is I guess coming out this way maybe. Um, but uh, this is a really good place to end the episode, so thanks for watching. I really hope you'll join me here for the next episode.